What's up guys, my name is Javi and welcome to the fourth episode of how to use Photoshop today and today we're going to be learning the RGB split effect in Photoshop and yeah so basically I already have a background opened up in Photoshop and it's an old NV background I made and basically what you want to do is you want to file pretend like you have all your layers you know you're still doing your editing your background you want to go to file save for web and then make sure it's on PNG 24. I actually did a tutorial earlier on this, so if you guys want to find out the best settings, and then just save it wherever you want. And then opened up the save version and double click on the layer zero. Make sure your layer is unlocked, by the way. And basically, you want to see these channels. You have R, G, and B, which stands for red, green, blue. Now, basically, these colors, you know, just basically blend the background together. And when you uncheck one of them, it kind of messes with the background a little bit. So, uh, obviously, red and green together make yellow. So, if you take out blue, red and blue make purple, and green and blue make uh, <laughs> looks like aqua blue. So, you know, this effect is kind of it's kind of uh, overused nowadays, but I, I still think it's a nice effect. So, I'm gonna teach you guys anyways. So. Depending on if you're on Windows or Mac, uh, what you're going to need to do is duplicate the layer. And the shortcut for that is Command or Control J. So Command J, I'm on Mac. So uh, Now once you have that duplicated layer of your background, it's just a whole background, what you want to do is on your arrow keys, go two times to the right. One, two. Now basically click on the duplicated layer, go to the channels. Now this is your personal preference when it comes to it you can uncheck G and uncheck B this is the way I like to do it or you can also check or uncheck G and B and just have R or you can uncheck R and have G and B G and B checked is my favorite way and then obviously you can move it more to the right if you like like the really crazy effect like like you know but I just like doing it two times two times is enough for me I think and then if I ever lower the opacity, which I do recommend it, I lower it to about 50, uh, 50 or 35, 50 to 35, uh, 35 gives a little bit less, so I'd keep it at 50 to be honest with you. So yeah, after this, just go to File, Save for Web, and save your background again, and then your background is ready to use. Cut off your banner if it's a partner template. If not, then you have your, you know background ready for use so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please leave a like and maybe a favorite and a comment down below if you're new please subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace out